Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to Sky Factory 2 and we're going to do another uh, tutorial today. Today we're going to be having a look at the Tinker's Construct tools. So we're going to be making some basic tools and it is uh, the next thing that we need to do uh, with our achievement book here. Uh, we're still waiting for it to rain, so we're <laughs> still waiting for that to happen so we can collect some rainwater and uh, we can start making some clay uh, out of that. But for now we're going to make some Tinker's uh, tools from bone or flint. We don't have any bone, uh, but I did manage to get one bit of flint and I do want to get see if we can find uh, get some more flint and uh, flint actually comes from sifting gravel so what I'm going to do is uh, just make a little bit more gravel and uh, see if we can get a little bit more flint and uh, hopefully that will work and we can um, yeah, start making these tools so let's see what we've got here 16 stone let's turn this into cobblestone there and uh, to make gravel we need to turn the cobblestone here into gravel so let's just quickly go and do that. Uh, then I'll sift this and see if we can get uh, another bit of flint. Because I do want to make uh, a couple of uh, Tinker's tools, not just one. So if I can make a couple, that'd be great. Uh, let's see if we can get some flint. Hopefully we'll get lucky. I think there is a 25% chance of getting flint from gravel. So if you want to figure out... Um, what you can actually get from these things. Uh, if you go to something like, uh, if you go gravel, let's say, uh, let's say gravel, and then we click on uses, uh, and then we just go over to the X Nihilo uh, sieve, and Ah, uh, there we go, yeah, the sieve, and that will show us exactly uh, what we get from sifting gravel, and you can see flint has a 25% chance, there's diamonds here as well with a 1% chance, uh, coal 13% chance, so it gives you the chance and uh, everything that drops from here as well. Uh, if you want to check out something else uh, that you can sift as well, click on sand, let's go and have a look at the, uh, the uses here, and click over to Ex Nihilo, I think it's the last one, here we go. So you can see here that we can get uh, some interesting items here, but um, crushed iron, cactus seeds, exotic seeds, and amber. Um, so you can just uh, have a look over here and you'll see exactly the things that you can get uh, from using the Ex Nihilo sieve. It's getting dark already, but we're going to be working throughout the night. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of bits of clint now. Uh, there are a few things that we need to make. Uh, before we can make the Tinker's Tool, uh, firstly we need to make the um, the patterns, and I've completely forgotten, oh, how this is how we do it, okay, so we make the patterns like this, uh, we're going to need a, a few more, there we go, we're, we're going to grab a few blank patterns, we'll grab 12 of them here, and uh, we're going to grab a few more sticks, because I think we may need some more sticks, um, yeah, there are basically four tools that we need um, to use, so we're going to make them right now. We need to make, uh, I need a little bit more wood here, so let's go and grab that. Okay, so we need to make a crafting table. We also need to make a just a regular chest here as well. Uh, we've got some oak wood and we've got some oak. So we're going to use these blank patterns and uh, from this we're going to make the four tools that we need. So we need a tool station there. We also need a pattern chest like that. Uh, we need a part builder like that and we also need a stencil table just like that. So th these are the four uh, tools that we need. Let's put them in our uh, just inventory here so I can just put these things down. Uh, we're going to start with did I, did I just throw one away? I've lost, <laughs> I've lost something. <laughs> what have I lost? Uh, the part builder, the pattern chest, the tool station. I've lost the stencil table. Did I, did I accidentally throw the stencil table uh, over the edge? <laughs> Maybe I did. <clears throat> I'm not really sure. I think the stencil table is the oak logs like that. Yeah, there we go. Somehow I lost the stencil table. I'm not really sure how. Okay, so let's make our little workplace over here. We're going to start with the uh, with the pattern chest. We're going to stick that over there. Uh, then we've got the part builder. We're going to put the stencil table in the middle, and we're going to pull the tool station over on the edge. Now the first thing that we need to do is uh, is make the patterns. So we're going to grab the eight blank patterns here, and uh, we're going to start making the ones that we think we're going to want. I'm probably going to want a pickaxe, so let's go and grab the uh, the pickaxe head pattern. Uh, let's also grab the uh, the tool binding pattern. We'll definitely need that, and we definitely want the uh, the tool rod pattern, that's how we make a pickaxe. And I do want a regular axe as well, so we're going to go for the axe head pattern, and I think we use the tool binding and the tool rod pattern for that. Um, 
later on we're probably going to want to make the a large plate pattern we're probably going to want to make a couple of swords as well um, so let's go for the tough tool rod here and we're going to go for the tough binding and is there anything else we want to make right now let's grab uh, maybe the chisel pattern we may want that a little bit later so I've got these patterns here <coughs> excuse me I'm going to go and put them all in the pattern chest so let's stick them all in the pattern chest here and I think if you shift uh, shift over it um, it tells you all of the materials that you can use uh, to make that pattern so that's quite handy actually there we go okay so we've got the uh, the patterns in the pattern chest now we're going to click on the parts builder and start making some of these parts now unfortunately we don't have a lot of stuff here a lot of um, uh, items to to use a lot of resources but uh, let's go for the tool rod and uh, we're going to make this out of wood there we go so the, the tool rod looks exactly like a stick you just have to remember which one is which. Um, I'm actually going to make uh, two of those. So I've got another tool rod here. There we go. So that's the the tool rod pattern used. Now we're going to make a couple of tool binding patterns as well. We're going to make these out of wood as well. So one tool binding there and another tool binding there we go so this is going to be for our pickaxe and our axe now we do need to make the pickaxe head we're not going to make it out of wood we can't make it out of wood anyway we can only make it out of stone or flint or obsidian uh, if you shift click over it there we go so we're going to make this one out of flint and we've got the flint axe head there and uh, we also want to make the axe head let's put the axe down here what can we use for this stone flint bone obsidian we can use stone but i think flint may be a little bit better let's go and grab the flint axe head there beautiful okay so i think we're ready to actually make Make these tools let's go over here to the not this stencil table now we're going to go over here lastly to the tool station this is where we make our things um, depending on what you want to make just go and click on it so we want to make the axe first and all we need for the axe is the axe head and the um, the tool rod there we go I don't actually need the um, the wooden binding for the for the axe so we've got the flint hatchet, uh, the flint hatchet here, and uh, we're going to call this one flinty, uh, the flint hatchet. Beautiful. There we go. So that works just like an axe, and we can level up with this as well. If you shift over it, then it tells you your XP level. So we're currently clumsy. We're not very good at it, but uh, we will get a little bit better. Now we do want to make the um, uh, the pickaxe as well. So we're going to make a flint uh, pickaxe here. So let's put this down here, and uh, we've got. <clears throat> Uh, we don't want him flinty. Uh, we're going to call him uh, Flick. Flick the pick. There we go. We got flinty and uh, flick the pick. Beautiful. And uh, we can try this out now on some of these giant trees. And it will go a little bit slow at first, uh, but once we level up, we will get uh, quicker and quicker. We can also upgrade uh, our uh, tools and weapons as well uh, with Tinker's mod. So that's the basics of uh, making a tool with Tinker's construct. Con uh, Tinker's construct. Uh, make Tinker's construct tools from bone or flint. Okay, we've made two tools, so we can tick that off. And uh, in the next episode, we will be looking at uh, making crucibles and making the cobblestone generator as well. So hopefully you'll stick around for that and uh, stay tuned for the next video. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be here chopping down some of these trees with my new uh, flick and uh, flinty. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.